We got a brief break from the extremely cold weather yesterday. We hit a balmy 33 degrees, but at least it broke a streak of five days without temperatures getting above the freezing mark. We actually started today with temperatures just above the freezing mark, but it didn't last very long. That came about two o'clock this morning. And then the next shot of Arctic air arrived and this air right now is coming almost directly out of the Arctic. We get another brief break on Wednesday. We may not see temperatures above the freezing mark, but we're talking about the upper 20s and then another shot of Arctic air coming in later in the week. Right now, temperatures already back in the single digits in some places. Mount Vernon down to seven degrees. That's actual temperature. Sparta right now at eight, Carmi at nine, Harrisburg, Carbondale, both holding on at 11 degrees, still 15 in Paducah and 18 in Sykeston. And there's still a breeze out there out of the north. So you factor that in and what it actually feels like when you step outside right now. It's not comfortable at all. In fact, uh, wind chill values are coming in below zero in many places. Feels like minus five right now in Mount Vernon, minus three in Harrisburg, and minus two in Carbondale. And widening out the view, there is more cold air to come. Peoria actual temperature already below zero. Springfield state's capital already down to four, six right now in St. Louis. Omaha at two and wind chill values across central Illinois right now, even colder than what they are right here. We're seeing wind chill values as cold as 15 degrees below zero. Again, it's only 10 o'clock. We are watching some light snow showers move across parts of central Illinois. Could see some flurries first thing tomorrow morning locally. Clouds continue to build back in. We actually started to see the clouds break up late this afternoon. That'll be the case as we make our way into the overnight hours as the clouds continue to stream in. Again, a chance for a couple flurries first thing tomorrow morning with this little weak storm system pushing by to the north. Otherwise, a lot of cloud cover to start off the day, but later into the day, I do think we're going to start to see some of the clouds break up, probably get a couple peaks of sunshine, but it is going to be cold. Monday, high pressure builds in and the sunshine sticks around, but the so does the cold air. We may be talking Monday afternoon temperatures not making it out of the teens. Now, tomorrow morning, most of us waking up with temperatures in the single digits, five, six degrees on average. But again, you factor in the wind because it is going to be breezy tomorrow morning. Wind chill values between about minus five and minus 10 and Monday morning may even be colder. We may be talking about actual temperature readings, one, two degrees and the wind out there. Wind chill values locally between minus 10 and minus 15 and along I-64, it's possible we could see some values down as low as 20 degrees below zero. So bundle up, make sure you're checking on your pets as well. Tomorrow morning again, a chance for a couple flurries around single digits, high temperatures only in the teens. Wind chill values may struggle to get above zero all, all day long. If you've got some plans to head out tomorrow evening, I would be making plans to be inside. Temperatures quick to drop back into the single digits. Sky starting to clear out and with that again, Monday shaping up right now to be the coldest day. Tuesday actually may be the coldest morning temperature wise. There's that brief break from the extreme cold comes on Wednesday. Yes, a high temperature of 29. We're calling that a brief break from the extreme cold.